We are Bible believers. King James 1611 Bible believers. And I believe in the whole Bible. In context, incorrect. I'm not out for no marathon and say, oh, look, we finished the Bible. And I'm getting to is we're going to read the Bible with the Bible. And we're going to learn the Bible. So, Mark chapter 14, we're coming to the final days of Jesus' life. And it's funny because the Catholic Church calls this the Holy Week. I don't think it's holy. I don't think it's, it's not Friday, but I don't think it's a good Friday that our Lord God and Savior had the, the crap beat out of him. Of extreme pain and suffering that no man has ever had but Jesus. That's not good. Now it saved my soul, but that's not good. And by the way, you say Good Friday. The Bible says the Passover, which was a high day, was on a Wednesday. We'll get to that. So we're looking at verse 26 of Mark 14. So Mark 14, 26 says, when they, when they had sung a hymn, this is after the Lord's Supper, they went out unto the mountain of Olives. Now Judas is going. And Jesus said unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, it is written. I will smite the shepherd, Jesus Christ and the shepherd, Matthew 10, um, John chapter 10, and the sheep shall be scattered. Now let me ask you a question. Who are the sheep? Peter, John, Andrew, the disciples. There was only one Gentile in, in, in the in the twelve. The rest of them were Jewish. But after that, I am risen. All right, their smite is the death. After that, I am risen. There's a resurrection. There is the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And he's on his way to the garden now. I will go before you into Galilee. So Jesus has prescribed his death, burial, resurrection. And the scriptures has given the date, the place, the who, the what, the where, the when, the why. You could you cannot do that with any other individual. Your horoscopes can't do that. You can't open your horoscope in the in the in the morning newspaper and say at two o'clock today you will be hit by a red Ford crossing XYZ Road and Avenue. Driven by a, a blonde while you're holding a, a bag from a restaurant and name the restaurant and give all the detail. You can't do that. Jesus has been doing it his whole entire ministry. So God, Jesus, has given us his death to smite the shepherd, the resurrection, but after that I am risen. Okay? He's given it. He's given it in his earthly ministry to the twelve. Now the twelve are not there, but, but John at his death. 
No one is there but the women at the resurrection. Why? But Peter said unto him, although all shall be offended, yet will not I. Every time Jesus tells about his death and resurrection, their minds are something else. Well, who's the greatest? Well, Lord, there was some over here casting out the devils. They did not comprehend what Jesus was saying. And you'll get Christian, oh, I wish I was there. You know, you would have been the same. You would not be that 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 person who would understand the whole thing. Because even Judas took the 30 pieces of silver and were coming to the garden. He will kiss Jesus. Only after that he realized, you know what? I betrayed the innocent blood. So Jesus, who is God, says, you're going to smite the shepherd. The, sh the sheep will be scattered. After that, I am risen. I'll go to another place. And Peter says, the Pope says, what the Catholic Church says. Peter tells God, you're a liar. All ye shall be offended, verse 27. Peter, oh, no, not me, Lord. You realize Peter is actually telling Jesus, you're a liar. You better be careful in the remarks and the statements. And Satan has even done, I'll be reading the Bible and most sometimes Satan will come along or it may be my flesh will say, can you really believe that? Come on. The thing, eight people got in this boat and every animal and they said, come on. Can you imagine Jesus, the son of God, doing that? You Can you um, and there'll be times you'll be reading your Bible and Satan will put into your thoughts. Your, you will put you in your thought. You will put things like that and you will be a Peter. And you may think for a moment that what you just read in the Holy King James 1611 Bible, that can't be right. Hello, Peter. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee that this day, this day, even in this night, you know, I got remember Jewish time, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is night. Before the cock crowed twice. <laughs> Thou shalt deny me thrice, three times. And I knew some, I knew a preacher's son that went to a, went to a college seminary, Baptist college, and he come back and he got up, to, and Father gave him the chance to get up there in the pulpit, and well, I don't know what thrice is, but you know my call. We, we go out in, into the to the foyer there, out in the little park bushes, and they got twelve of the disciples statues, and we gather around. You need to, you need to take a, an atom bomb and blow that place up, and bring in bring in the garbage trucks and dump your garbage in that place, because that's what's coming out. Three times, Peter. You're going to deny me. Not once. But three times. You're going to get three times. You had to open up your mouth. Why would he deny Jesus? Because he gets offended. And we'll see as we study, as we read along, Peter's going to get angry. But he, Peter, spoke, spake the more vehemently. No, he's, he's arguing with Jesus now. 
If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee any. He is calling Jesus a liar. You're a liar again. I will not do what you told me I will do. And boy, do Christians say that all the time. Jesus is going all the world and preach the gospel, and they go out and, oh, we got a great pastor, we got a great church. We're going to have revival, and nothing's going to happen. It's amazing. They have, I see, every year they got these revivals. Every year they got these revivals. Every year they got these revivals. And I want, you know, I sit back, people say, I start trouble and all that. Really? You know what I want to say to them? Which each year that you start your revival, how many package stores have closed? How many bars have closed? How many men do not take their children's money no more and spend it on cigarettes or spend it on booze? How many men stay their, their evenings at home with their family? How many wives can ask their husband the Bible like the Bible says? If she's got a question, she has to ask her husband. How well is your Bible conference? 36 saved this day, 47 saved today, 26 saved that. And really, is it salvation or is it just say this prayer and go to hell? I get this guy every once a week. 36 got saved. I'm saying, in America, was it? No. No. I'm sorry. You, but here is Peter calling God a liar because he's Mr. Tough Man. He's Mr. Peter. Man, God has to break him. Man, he's going to have to profess three times coming up. At the seaside. He's going to be arrested. A couple times in Acts. And as we go. Through Acts. You're going to see Peter get a little broken. And by the time we get to 1st and 2nd Peter. He's broken. He's not that outspoken. Well he is that still that outspoken person. So, here we are on the way to the garden. Now, Matthew 26. Now, see, some churches, all right, we're done for tonight. We're going to read it. Matthew 26, 26. I mean, we're rich with what the Bible says. It says, as they were eating, he took the bread and blessed it, drank it, and gave it to the disciples to take, eat. This is my body. He took the cup and gave thanks. He gave it to them and said, drink, eat him, all of it. This is the blood of my tears. So there is the Lord's Supper. Verse 30. When they had sung a hymn, they went out unto the Mount of Olives. So they sing a hymn. Looks like in, in the room, they sing a hymn. Then they exit the upper room. And they're in the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answers him to him, Though all men, well, look at that, shall be offended because of thee, will um, yet will I never be offended. Though all men but me. You ever met a Christian? Oh, everybody but me. No, 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 not me. 
You find a lot of preachers and pastors that know all the world but me, no. Touch not the Lord's anointed. And I had one guy, one preacher, I'll say guy. I couldn't start a church in my family now because we didn't get his approval. Oh, wait a minute. You're not interested in ordaining me? You're not interested. You say, I, I do have a zeal for the Lord, but you're just angry that I can't start a church because I didn't get your permission. Oh, excuse me. Where, where's that book? In, where's the book, chapter, and verse number that says, I need your permission? Look at Peter. Look how Peter. That's your Catholic Church. Though all the religions and all the atheism, except you come to Mother Church, Mother Universal Church. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should <clears throat> die with thee. Now, Jesus didn't say anything about Peter dying. Jesus said his death. Where does it say Peter? Peter stuck himself in there. Yet will I not deny thee. Now watch this. Likewise also said all the disciples. Be careful where your mouth goes. Because you may have a zeal. A wrong zeal. And you may get a class of people that will. Yeah. Oh. You say how, how is that? Well somebody had to start the Southern Baptist Convention. And look at all the people are in it. They have the wrong Bibles, the wrong teachings. I had a Southern Baptist preacher get upset with me because I sent the whole congregation how the King James Bible is the Bible of all Bible. He got upset with me. Not really? It's... I mean, you didn't get upset other religions around you? You didn't get upset that down the road from you is the Jehovah Witness? If you're so great and strong, why is the Jehovah Witness down the street? So likewise also said all the same, Peter now has a gathering of people speaking that God's a liar. Why are there so many religions? There you go. Somebody's speaking a lie about God. And oh yeah, we'll follow. Sounds good to me. Look, look, at, look at all the Jehovah Witnesses. Look at all the Mormons. Why? Well, if you got a sexual fantasy, you want multiple wives. Catholic Church you're following a person that has called the God of the King James Bible the God of the Hebrews Abraham Abraham, Isaac and Jacob you're calling that God a liar and then you get a follow and the Catholic Church their standing is their Peter, not my, not my Peter, is the foundation of their church. But there's a big leap between Peter and I can't even think of his name now. Okay? I'll think about about 3 o'clock in the morning. So, there's that. Luke 22. Luke 22, 31. 
You see, what we're reading right now, it shows up in the Bible just three times. But the Baptist church is more interested in Christmas. Once. These are the same churches that will have the Lord's Supper. And the people don't even know what the Lord's Supper is. And do you realize Paul says that there is sickness in the church? There is death in the church? There are problems in the church because you don't adhere to what the Lord's Supper is about. There's a lot in the Bible from the Lord's Supper, the last Passover, to the death of Jesus. There's a lot going on. And I have been in plenty of churches from Connecticut to Florida, and I have not heard one church go into the final days of Jesus. You know, come come around December 25th, as close as you can get that day to do church service. It was great that year falls Sunday in the 25th. You know, we open up to Luke and we read. And, you know, Easter comes up, ooh, ooh, we, we read, and you don't even acknowledge Passover. You don't have on your midweek service, we're going to read the Passover. We're going to read about the meal, the last meal of Jesus, because that's the time frame. Then Sunday morning, we can read about the resurrection. No, I've been in Baptist churches where the wife goes, you know, Good Friday, I'm like, oh, give me a break. Then I seen the Sunday school teacher bring in the daily bread and start handing it up. Ah, oh, you're, you're Southern Baptist Catholic Church. And that's where I came up with Catholic Baptist or Baptist Catholic, where you learn or lean to. He, had, he tried to hand me one of them. Uh, uh, Whatever, I forget the name already. It's like I don't want the devil's word in my my hands. Oh, it's good. No, it's not good. So what we have here, thirty one. The Lord said, Jesus, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has this desire to have you. Uh oh. We didn't read this. And he may shift you as we. So. We get a one step further. That there was a conversation between Jesus and Peter. And the conversation is that God told Peter, Satan's after you. We didn't read this in Matthew, the great Matthew Baptist book, written to the Jewish people, the Jewish nation. Come on, come on. I'll smile at my door and be sitting there and when the Baptist, open your Bibles to Matthew. Don't we have four? Don't we have three other gospels you can open? If I'm teaching a church, I will, I will. We're doing a full layout here. But I will not go to Matthew. I will go to Mark, Luke, or John, because Matthew is not our gospel. So. It's told to Simon by God, Jesus. Now, Satan has already got Judas. Judas is now in the grip of Satan. He is going to go get the money. 
and he will show up with the 12 in the middle of the night at the garden. Judas is not here. Simon's there. And Satan wants to destroy. He wants to put Peter through the shifter. You know, you take wheat and you put it in this tube and you shake it. And it, it, it softens the, the, the wheat. And if there's any impurities, any sticks or leaves or whatever that don't belong in there, it will remain. But this shifting of Satan, you know, is not for the good. But I have prayed for thee. That thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted. So look, Peter's not even saved. Strengthen thy brother. How is Satan going to shift Peter? Well, from everything that happens now. To the end of the Gospels. That's why we're studying all out. What happens to Peter now to the book of Acts? He's got Satan on his butt. And strengthen thy brethren. That will take us into Acts. But let's read on. And he said unto him, Lord, I am re already to go with thee unto prison and to death. That's not what Jesus said. Peter does not end up in prison to Acts 4 or 5, maybe 6. Peter doesn't die until he finishes his epistle. So Peter got cocky. P P Jesus says, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm praying for you that if your faith fails not, when Satan desires to attack you, and when you convert to strength, I pray, oh, I'm ready to go with thee to both prison and death. That's totally on, out of context. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. So verse 34, you're going to deny me th three times is the very fact that oh, I'll, I'll go to prison and then I'll die with you. Really? Okay, object number one for Peter. You got to break that attitude of your big mouth. You got to break that attitude that it's you. I am going to bring you down that when, when I'm done with you, by the time you deny me three times and that cock crow, you are going to pray and have the tears of agony. Because if you remember, at that moment, when the, when he, he denied Jesus the third time in the cock group, if you remember, it says that Peter looked at Jesus and Jesus turned around and Peter went out and wept bitterly. That's breaking Jesus. That's breaking Peter. John 13. John 13. Thirty-six. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, whither goest thou? 
And Jesus answered, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterward. <laughs> okay, so here's another account, not in the other Gospels. Peter said to the Lord, said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay my life for thy sake. So, let's get the context. Jesus answered, said, Will thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. <laughs> okay, so, smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall run, flee. Oh, no, 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 no. Satan, Satan wants you, Peter. Satan wants the shit. He wants to get in your life and mess up your life. Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll go to prison. I'll die for you. Really? You're going to deny me three times. i got to show you how strong your faith is. Jesus is going to go to heaven. He's going to deposit his blood. He's going to come back. He's going to go back to heaven. Peter says, well, why can't I go? You can't. Not now. Later. Oh, you're gonna have, you're gonna deny me three times. Why is it, why is it that Peter has to deny Jesus three times? Because you ready? Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall scatter. Oh no 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 no! Satan desires the shifting. Well, I, I, I will I will go to prison. I will die with you. No 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 no. Well, I'm going to heaven. Why can't I go? Because you can't go right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, three times. And when he's standing at the, at, at, we'll get to later in John, hopefully. When he's standing at the, at the seaside and the fish are on the fire. Lovest thou me, Peter? Yea, thou lovest thou me. Three times Jesus calls the love for Peter and the love of Peter. Well, Lord, what, what, why did you say love is out me? And he got, he got really bad because why? Look at John 21. Verse 16. He says unto him, well, no, wait, one more. Verse 15. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, the son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Who's of these? He says unto him, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He says unto him, feed my land. He said again to him the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. He says unto him, Feed my sheep. He says unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved. Because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? He said to him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. He had to get that out three three times. It's not just okay. I love you, Jesus. Okay, Lord, I love you. I guarantee Peter was broken. Peter had been shifted by the time we get to John twenty one. I guarantee when we get to John 21 and Jesus speaks, I guarantee there's a big hole in the sand with his foot. And there, there would have been storm clouds 
he would never have seen them because he's looking down and there's a hole in the sand where his foot is. Maybe he's looking at that fire. And he's reminded of the fire where he said, Oh, I don't know. You blankety blank, I don't know who he is. Remember he said he gave the crest to swear? And you imagine that moment he's standing there, he looks up at Jesus' face and he pitches that face, turns around, look at him, you denied me. And he, Jesus went off, Peter went off bitterly. See, you can't just read your Bible. You got to read your Bible with the emotions of the time that is written. So, finally, let's go to Zechariah, where Peter calls Jesus a liar. Zechariah 13. And I got to check this verse here because I. 13.7. Jesus said, it is written. Peter says, oh, no, 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 Lord. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. I will turn my hand upon the little one. There it is. So when Peter says, oh, no, no, not so. A, he's attacking God. B, he's attacking the, Jesus Christ, the Son. C, he's attacking the Holy Spirit. And D, he's, he's attacking the prophecy in the scriptures. You know what he tried to do? You know what Satan tried to do? Do you recognize? Let me give it to you like this and we'll be done. Satan's coming up to Peter and saying, Yea, has God said? And Peter's already began like Eve. No, 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 no. Eve changed the word of God. Peter changed the word of God. Oh, no, not me. No, Peter said all. Oh. Now, listen, I'm not saying, I mean, Peter loved the Lord, but sometimes your love, I mean, there there are parents out there that love their children. They, they love them. They love them to death and destruction. They think their little angels are angels. They can never do wrong. It amazes me that you will get somebody who's committed this horrific crime. And the television cameras will turn to the mother. Oh, he's such a wonderful child. Really? And 